So today is my video about ceramides. I've been working on this one for quite a while and um, I've got a little bit background to talk about my favorite ceramide products. Okay, ceramides, if you don't know, they are the waxy substance that kind of makes up your skin barrier and prevents your skin from uh, losing water, trans epidermal water loss. Um, it's also a component of cholesterol and free fatty acids. So ceramides are essential to our skin being healthy having a healthy skin barrier. When your skin has an unhealthy skin barrier, it uh, loses moisture fast, it's red, it's flaky, it's dry, it's irritated, uh, and things like that. Eczema is typically uh, associated with uh, skin barrier. Um, so all of these components form a liquid crystal structure that is a very efficient at preventing water loss. And uh, application of this would be for skin suffering from atopic dermatitis, skin that's adjusting to retinoids, um, skin that's had treatments, laser treatments, or other environmental factors like dry, cold, windy weather. Um, many products uh, with ceramides actually have a very low amount of ceramides. And in terms of the ratios of ceramides to cholesterol and free, free fatty acids, uh, which it should be combined with, the uh, actual amount for most products is just not enough that it actually makes much of a difference to skin. Um, really the ideal ratio for ceramides to cholesterol to fatty acids is, uh, three to one to one. So when you have that ideal ratio, it can help your skin heal, have a good barrier, uh, contain water, hold in water and moisture. When it has that ideal ratio, it can help with that. When the ratio is out of whack or the amount of ceramides is too low, really, doesn't probably do much. The other ingredients in the products probably help, but the ceramides just really aren't doing much compared to what a lot of research shows. And I'll link to this very thorough Reddit post below uh, that explains a lot of this. I've spent several days, actually like weeks, digesting this information and deciding where to go because uh, pretty much most products that are on the market with ceramides, just the ceramides are in there, it's great probably doesn't do much compared to the other ingredients, which can be silicones, fatty acids, things like that. Oils it can be very, be very helpful, but the ceramides probably most likely aren't actually doing much. But if you're using a product with ceramides in it and you're having great success with it, I wouldn't stop using it. Maybe the ceramides aren't doing much, but obviously the other ingredients are working nicely. Um, so ceramides are actually very expensive. So a lot of brands don't go out and buy their ceramides. They buy a, a simple component of a, a company that sells this product and then they mix it into their product. Stratia is a common one. A lot of people, they actually use this, but they also uh, include more of it than most of the other brands do. So they have more ceramides. However, their ratios apparently still aren't uh, correct compared to what uh, this information outlies. So um, in terms of uh, what ceramides do for skin barrier repair. You can get them from other ingredients. Niacinamide is great for barrier repair. Urea is another great one. Natural moisturizing factor, humectant, helps your skin uh, bind with water and hold in water. Sorbic acid is also great for collagen production, which helps your barrier in turn and maintaining the integrity of your skin barrier. So the too long don't read TLDR is most ceramide claims are marketing so don't choose a moisturizer simply based on whether or not ceramides are in it because probably, most likely, uh, it's not going to have the correct ratio of ceramides that's actually optimal and you're just doing much. So there you go. I've still got my favorites. And uh, yeah, so leave a comment. Read this Reddit thread. It will take you days to digest it all. But if you look at research, things that they've linked to, it's pretty sound information. And uh yeah, so basically out of everything on my list, Regimen Lab Cream, they apparently, and it's sometimes it's hard to tell if what they've used, but apparently this has the correct ratio. And I will link to this one below if you haven't tried Regimen Lab. They have some great products. Their Level Serum for Brightening is amazing. Their Vitamin X, which is an antioxidant vitamin C type serum, is amazing. This one is also great too. So out of everything on my list, this is probably the one I would recommend first, foremost, especially if you have skin barrier issues, hydration issues, you live somewhere like Minnesota where it's very dry during the winter and your skin does need uh, some good ceramides. This one is amazing and it's not ridiculously expensive either. 
Um, so next up, I've got the Elta MD Barrier Renewal Complex. This one also contains ceramides. It looks like it contains a little bit more ceramides than a lot of the other products. Uh, this one is certainly worth checking out. Their sunscreens are amazing too. Uh, this one is great. So Elta MD. I'm not exactly sure what the ratio they use is. It's very hard for uh, someone to find out unless a brand you know, tells you straight up that's what they use, but also contains squalane and vitamin E as well as ceramides. The Zero, Zeroid 5% Urea Cream. Urea is great for skin barrier repair. It also contains Panthenol, Centella, Elantlin, Bisabalu. It's a great product. Uh, in and out of stock, so do a little bit of shopping, but this one is certainly, if you have a skin barrier with issues, this one is great. We're checking out. And then the rest of this list, they contain ceramides, Probably not enough to be super beneficial, but I found these uh, with their additional ingredients to work well for me. The Toradin, Solidin, Ceramide Cream. We've also got Jojoba Seed Oil, Panthenol, Ceramides, Rice Bran Oil, and Latlin. Great for dry, dehydrated, and sensitive skin. Uh, next up, we've got the RNW Ceramide Plus Concentrate Serum. This one also contains niacinamide, which is great for your barrier. Uh, ceramides, peptides as well, cholesterol, and beta-glucan. Cholesterol is also Great ingredient, you want to see that in your ceramide products because it works in conjunction with the ceramides to help repair your skin barrier. Um, okay, next up, the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Barrier Face Cream. This one's ceramides, amino acids, calendula, oat kernel, niacinamide. We want to see niacinamide, that's great. This one's really nice. If you have oily skin, it sets to a really nice matte finish. Cannot wait to review it, even if the ceramides might be more marketing than anything okay next up we've got the coco kind barrier ceramide serum we've got ceramides aloe squalane vitamin e beta glucan really nice product super affordable uh probably pretty friendly for oily or acne prone skin next up this one's a newer product from peace out peace out has been super hit or miss i don't know why the retinal stick not very great but this one is a winner uh ceramides rosehip oil hemp oil We've got ferment and then vitamin E in here. Great for dry skin, acne prone skin, dehydrated skin, sensitive skin. No fragrance. These are all fragrance free. Next up, we've got the Polish Choice Clear Oil Free Moisturizer. This one also contains ceramides, licorice root, blueberry, and then niacinamide. Great for acne prone skin. And next up, we've got the Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This one is uh, very affordable. Ceramide, squalane, minimal ingredient list but great for oily skin, sensitive skin. And then a uh, bonus product, the Ceramedic Soothing Facial Lotion with Ceramides. This one's really nice, very affordable. Kind of a comparable product to CeraVe's face, PM Facial Lotion, uh, but this one is cruelty-free and a little bit more affordable. <sighs> so yeah, I've been working on this one for a couple weeks now, and it took me this long to fully digest everything and look at the research, look at the studies, and see that really it is, it's basically true. Ceramides are kind of a, uh, like an ingredient to dress up something. It's like the Louboutin shoe to the H&M dress. They make everything look good. You think it's doing something, but to be honest, in most products, it's probably the other ingredients that are really doing the work, unless they use that ideal uh, ceramide ratio, which uh, looks like most products don't. So there you go. Leave a comment with your thoughts below. There's a lot to digest. Check out the Reddit thread. It's going to take you a while to go through it all, but maybe leave a comment with if you agree or disagree. So even the um, owner of the Stradia brand weighed in a little bit with the comments below and on their formulation. So if you're interested in that brand at all, it's worth reading. So anyway, those are my ceramides for today. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much, guys.